Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hi, you guys. Hope you're doing great. I'm doing fantastic. And just another day of tarot. Yes, so what do I want to talk about today? Well, for starters, I want to thank um, Keep NYC Mega Trash Free for putting me in her video. I was very pleasantly surprised. Uh, yeah, that was great. That was fantastic. I was happy. That was a happy moment, and I thank her for that. If you haven't tuned in to Keep NYC Mega Trash Free, uh, do it. She has put out a 10 series uh, cartoon videos with lots of different players that are um, trashing Markle and the pair. Uh, so quite fun to watch. I hope she continues. I, I have stated that to her. I think she found herself a nice niche that um, brings in humor to a very uh, grim situation and a lot of us need need to laugh about the situation now because it's been going on for so long so i really truly hope she continues with it because not only can she get her point across but she's doing it with humor and, and i think that's just um absolutely fantastic i'm really all about blending two gifts together and i think she's managed to do that so anyways if you haven't checked out uh, uh keep nyc mega trash free have at it go go check them out and what else do I want to say? Uh, NARC collapse. Uh, you know, they have, they are deciding to go silent. Um, and they're going to be doing so apparently for six months. Uh, I know when they go silent, what that truly means is they're in scheming mode. Uh, everything they've done has not worked out. They've done the victim narrative over and over and over. They've done the woke, uh, the woke brigade. Uh, everything I've done, as we know, has crashed and burned. Uh, so apparently... You know, news is coming out that Lady C is dropping some hinting bombs that uh, there's going to be some new narrative we can expect. So there we go. Classic, classic, classic. When they go silent, they're scheming. So they're scheming. Uh, they're withdrawing from the supply because the mask has slipped. Uh, there's become a gap between the false self and the reality. And they're laying bare right now. So now they've got to restructurize themselves. Uh, all the players are not going along. They haven't gotten the support. They haven't got the financial backup. So that's, you know, all their enablers, their friends, their flying monkeys are all starting to wake up to this victim narrative it was just a string of lies. Definitely a string of lies. And so now they're, they're aiming to see what kind of success they can find. And you can guarantee it, this success will be stolen or borrowed from other people. It will not be original. They don't have an original thought. It's just not. It's going to be a stolen or borrowed or regurgitate a previous excuse. And the previous excuse, it has was dropped. Uh, Harry dropped the bomb a long time ago uh, that Markle was shining too much. Uh, it was after one of the very first trips they made. Uh, right after they got married, and that she shined too much. And that was, I think, what the angle is going to be, is she shined too much. And uh, so they're going to try that again, hands down, because he used it before. It wasn't grasped onto. People didn't buy it, so he kind of dropped it and went with this other narrative. I think he's going to go back and revisit that. I think that's exactly where it's going to go, because he did it before. He's going to do it again. He's going to probably get a little deeper into it, put out more uh, evidence uh, to support it. And so that's pretty much a given uh, because that's what the withdrawals for is for planning and scheming. So they are planning and scheming, don't need cards for that. But I am interested to find out uh, where their energy lies with this planning and scheming and how it's going and how hopeful are they with their planning and scheming. <laughs> that's really the plan here. Uh, it is because the mask has dropped because too many P experts, psychologists, body language, tarot readers, uh, opinion pieces, uh, journalists, writers, all across have just burned their bridge. It's burning all their bridges. Not only did they do it themselves, but other people are making it possible as well. Because anyone that was on the fence is now realizing it. And same with the sugars. You have to realize a lot of these sugars... Um, are just like them in all due respects they are uh the ones very few are not and the ones that are not are more likely once they get that 
uh, realizing that there was just a string of lies with the victim narrative, the more honest ones are going to leave, question it, and get out. The ones that stay are very much the same yoke, very much the same yoke. They don't care. And some of them will actually realize it while they're doing it, that they're supporting something that they shouldn't be. And so then they feel that guilt and shame uh, for being part of it. So anyway, so I just had to put that out there. It's just bottom line psychology. Uh, it is not tarot. So, and yeah, they, they will have that guilt and shame kick in. Uh, but many, the ones that stay, they're, they're, very, they're very much on the spectrum themselves or darn near their toes on the line, I would say. They carry high traits. They've got some other issues. They're obviously cluster B. Uh, that is the bad category, the difficult, chaotic, um, dramatic category. So they kind of love the chaos themselves. They're drawn to it. It gives them a sense of normalcy, it gives that brain that balance it's seeking. And so that's why they're drawn to it. That's why they like to fight. Narcissists do not solve conflicts. They create more. So trust me, they are not going to solve anything. They don't want, they don't want anybody to be grounded. They don't want any problem solved. They just will, they will come into something, make it appear as though we're going to solve something, but really it's to create more chaos. Uh, and it's that way till the, their last breath. So Let's get some cards on how this is going to unfold. How is this going to unfold? The two of them with a new narrative and scheming. What is the new scheming plan? What is the new scheming plan? Because this so-called six months of silence. Can, do you think they're going to actually be silent for six months? I don't think so. Nope. I don't think Markle has it in her. So let's find out. Six months of scheming and silence. And let's see where it stands. Here we go. Six months of silence and scheming. Okay, the very first two cards I have here, it's like a death. Yes, it is. It is like a death, but they don't feel stuck. It is not to the worst degree, because that's to the worst degree. So they feel that they can rebuild themselves. It is like a death. We got to go silence. We got to pretend we're dead. Let's not say anything. We're going to work on transforming ourselves. So once again, boom, we're going to transform. We're going to reshape ourselves, change the per public persona from the hate to love. They're really trying to rack their brain and how they can turn this all around with the four of cups in the upright position. Nope, that is in the reverse position, the reverse position. Uh, and that is because they don't have anything solid. Uh, there's a feeling of no support, rejection. They need a new outlook. They're completely discontented. It's a wishing card. It's the, the, it, the Four of Cups is a wishing card, but it's in the reverse. So they're losing hope. They've lost a lot of hope. They, it's, it's do or now. Like I, I said before, it's get off the pot. Let's get off the pot. We got to change some things. Uh, they can't sit around and be lazy anymore like they have been with just living life luxuriously in their mansion. You know, I love one of the, the videos in the NYC mega trash free video where they, you know, all they do is drink their coffee. They, you know, their, their days are filled with luxury and and, and laying back and laying low and, and a casual lifestyle. This is why they haven't put out anything is because they're lazy. It is now time. There's nothing stable emotionally, nothing stable between them. They have got to do something and do it now. It's, it is a last call. These two are a last call right here. It is definitely a last call for them. Uh, you got to work. You got to do it now. Get on it. So that's why they're going silent. It is scheming big time. And the focal point here, yep, the focus is four of swords in the reverse position. Lots of anxiety. They're ready to act. We've got to do something now. They sat around doing this for too long. They sat around in that four, four of swords. That's Harry leaning against a tree in Montecito underneath the, in, in the shade, uh, watching his chickens and, and taking naps and smoking weed more than likely. Uh, just laying low. Uh, here, it's, it's ready to act. This is, we are desperate. This is a desperate position. So a desperate position, lots of anxiety. Got to act now. What's hidden? The hidden energy is, that is the sun in the upright position. 
The hidden energy is the light is shining on them. The whole world has highlighted the situation. So that's, that is also seeding. They need to seed some new ideas. They need to seed something. And they want to be happy. In order to be happy, they must seed something. They must plant and grow and shine the light on this new growth. And, and instead of playing pity, they play pity. They got to stop playing pity. They've got to seed some new ideas and look like they're they're um, they're actually worthwhile to listen to and listen and and view and pay any attention to. They got to produce. This is sort of I got to produce, and that's hidden. They know they haven't produced. They know that they have been like this. They have been not seeding anything and laying low underneath trees under the sunny skies of California. So that is why they're in this position now of anxiety and having to seed something. So then we have here the fifth position is the past. The decisions in the past was the king of wands in the upright position. So it looked like Harry had to be responsible for a lot of energy that was being put out, uh, but it's not working for them anymore. This is a position that is not really going in their favor anymore. It is from the past. It's not working. And that was Harry kind of taking a lot of the lead in some of the decisions, uh, being the fire starter of, I would say, conflict, in my opinion. Uh, his ideas aren't working. Him being a business guy isn't working. Him being a forefront for businesses isn't working. He's not capable. He is not that king of wands. He doesn't have the energy of a king. Uh, he doesn't have that ruler energy. He doesn't have the confidence, the enthusiasm, and the willpower. He doesn't have the leadership. But And that's why it's not working. It's in the past position for something that has not worked. Uh, it, it's just a past decision uh, for him to be as though he is this you know, Mr. Entrepreneur Ruler who takes charge, uh, but he doesn't have the capacity to motivate other people. And this person motivates other people. Harry's not motivating anyone. People can kind of see through the veneer. Uh, they could see they could see that mass. They could see the gap between the false self and the reality. Uh, they don't believe what he's saying. Uh, a lot of acquaintances and friends have fallen off. It's not, this position doesn't work for them anymore. So then the next position here is the future. The future is a nine of swords. When is this misery and suffering going to end? Nine of swords is just like a rock bottom almost, but you're stuck in your head. Uh, so they're both stuck in their head in despair with this nine of swords. It is just... It's the worry card. It's the worry card and they want healing and relief card, but they're not getting it. They're not getting it at all. They're completely stuck in their own heads and they know it. So what else is going on with the scheming? The next position here, the seventh, is the feelings. The feeling is the Ten of Pentacles. They are losing everything. There's no financial security. Uh, the upright is full security and money and abundance and everything going great. Everything going as planned. As we know, it has not done that. So not going well. No surprise. The next position is the eighth position, which is the outside influences. The outside influence is the seven of wands in reverse. Seven of wands upright is defending yourself, being determined. This is in the quitting position. So they're quitting. This is why they're going silent. Being stuck in their head, going silent, not, they can't battle anymore. You got to shut up. No more PR. Stop putting out news media. Stop hogging up the, the news feed. Nobody wants to hear from you. Going silent. Stuck in their head trying to figure out what to do with this death card and the Four of Cups in the reverse position with no emotional stability. So yeah, they're in a really bad place, you guys. <laughs> this is a this is like a narc collapse here spread. It really is, and I kind of figured it would be. Then the last position here, oh, go figure. <laughs> That's about Markle, all right? Page of Cups in reverse. Yes, that is smothering, addiction issues, uh, gaining weight. She has done that. 
Not that I like to mention on her appearance, but we have noticed it. Uh, it is the pity card. So they're going to go with the pity party on Markle. It will be the pity on Markle. Markle was not allowed to shine. So I think he's going to revisit the thing that Markle was not allowed to shine. Uh, like I said earlier, he did it right after one of their first, uh, I think it was in Africa. They supposedly had a real... A uh, great show out there. It was, I, I'm pretty certain, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think it was after their first trip to Africa, after they got married. And when they came back, that's when a lot of trouble started. So I, they're going to say that Marco wasn't allowed to shine. And, you know, they loved her, but the royals were not going to allow her to be loved. And she now has addiction issues. She's miserable. Uh, it is playing pity for her. So I do think it's going to be the, the scheming is going to be about playing pity for Markle not being allowed to shine. So that's what that is. Not wanting the, the public to view her as the Queen of Cups. You know, nurturing and significant and feminine and passionate and in touch with your feelings. This whole sensitivity card. You know, having foresight will age you and this gentleness and adored, just a woman in life, very significant. They didn't want the significance for her. They tried to dim her light. They're going to say they, that the royals dimmed her light. That is what they're going to aim for. He did it before. It's going to be a, re it's going to be a, a repeat. It's just going to be a repeat because he doesn't have the creativity. Neither does she. So this, I think, is going to be the angle. And then they're going to probably go deeper into exactly what was that. What parts of them not let, allowing her to shine. I'm sure they're going to make say all kinds of things that probably applied to everybody. But they're going to make it seem like they singled her out, I would say. Singling her out. So let's find out. What is it they're going to say that singled her out? that wouldn't allow her to shine? What was it that wasn't going to be allowed to shine? What parts were they trying to dim? What were they trying to dim? Because it's going to be um, a pity play on dimming her light. Dimming Markle's light, dimming Markle's light, dimming Markle's light. What are they gonna say about dimming Markle's light? Dimming Markle's light is the, the devil. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let's see. Well, with the devil, that is uh, the ego. It is, they're gonna, living in fear. Uh, she was fearful. I was afraid. She was afraid of this new position. She didn't understand. She was living in fear. Uh, you know, this codependency. Uh, she's, she's, a, she's an individualistic woman. She's not used to having to depend on anyone and she's afraid this is, you know, this fearful, this, this guy's looking down and manipulating. So she's going to say, they're going to say that she felt manipulated, lied to, trapped, codependent, not able to do what she wanted to do, had to follow along, enslavement, enslavement and power struggles. So they're going to use the power struggle. Markle can never get a leg up, never letting her have her way. Uh, just complete codependency. And Markle is a independent uh, woman who doesn't need to be so controlled. So they're going to use the control and they're going to use the justice in reverse with it. And all of it was unfair. So with the justice in reverse, it was not a fair fight. It was never a fair fight. It's not what she deserved. And it is, you know, they're going to say the truth should have came out. They would not allow us to say any truths. We were, we were forced to stay silent. Uh, it, you know, and so they're, they're going to claim that silence, they were silenced. So back to Markle saying she was silenced. It goes back to the Oprah interview. I was silenced. So they're going to go back to the original. They don't have the creativity to start anything now. So it's just codependency, silence, uh, uh, ego, lies, feeling controlled, uh, no growth of their own, uh, not allowed to shine. 
and everything was unfair. It was completely dishonesty and unfairness. So they're get, that's the victim. It's still the victim ploy card. It's still what they're going to do. What else are they going to say? What else are they going to say? If this one's sticking out the most, I'm going to take it. The fool. You know, they wouldn't let us take our new risks, take any new risks. They weren't willing to take risks. Uh, this is someone who's willing to literally take take new opportunities and see where they can go with it. And so they're going to say they were not willing to take a risk with her, uh, that it was unfair that they didn't like the path that she wanted to go down within the family. She had good ideas and they blocked them. They blocked all her good ideas and thought that it was too much of a risk because that is a risk taking card with the fool. Uh, what else can I say about the fool? The fool, the fool is just, you know, someone who is youthful too, uh, and has a new fresh approach, I would say to doing things, trying to get out of the clouds, uh, get this, you know, feel like a fresh, a breath of fresh air. You know, Marco was like a fresh breath air with new ideas and new passions. It should have been embraced. So unfair, so controlling. So it's going to be back to the controlling firm. And I will just pull those out. Then I have here, right here, they're going to say here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, so with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, they're going to say that they weren't trustworthy. They're going to say that they didn't trust her. Uh, they didn't want any results coming in. They didn't want her making steady progress. They didn't want her making steady progress. Uh, they wouldn't allow any results to happen. Uh, and that they didn't think that the juice was worth the squeeze with whatever ideas she had uh, back to Pentacles and that it would cost too much money, quite possibly. And that... Uh, the Ace of Wands, and that she really wanted to start new things, but they just wouldn't allow it to happen. They just wouldn't allow it to happen, and they would judge it, wondering if it was worth it. And so with the Ace, you know, the Ace of Wands, she really had that motivation, you know, that mind of expansion, going further. She could light fires and start new things, but they just were like, ah, we don't think it's worth it. And, you know, just shutting her down with this, with this Knight of Pentacles, uh, just feeling that it was, it was unfinished. She wanted to start things and they would never let her finish it too. And they would force stagnancy on her and she felt stagnant. She couldn't move forward because they would stagnate her and force her to just be quiet and comply. They're also going to say here with the Eight of Cups in reverse that there was jealousy and she wanted to liberate herself. She ended up having to having to liberate herself in order to feel the Nine of Pentacles. There she is, sitting in Montecito in the patio there. That song kind of reminds me of the Oprah interview. Finding her pleasure and abundance and finally feeling satisfied after she removed herself and had to do it with movements. She had to overcome the whole emotional situation with, with making movements and moving away. Uh, with that, with that eight of cups, and then the final result in the center here is the emperor, and then Harry had to support her in the, in this in this venture and getting out, and he took the lead, he took control, he helped build the situation with her to give her that liberation that she so needed because they wouldn't let her shine, and then we have these cards here, we have the the high priestess in reverse with the king of cups in reverse and the judgment in reverse i feel this is kind of where they are now they have clouded insight uh, they thought that they were woke that they could preach to the masses by being the spiritual leader uh, by knowing all the gifts and what can happen and what you should do uh, the high priest is just, you know, basically being a witch. Uh, they didn't have the, the magic. They didn't have the magic. They thought they had that sort of secret knowledge, but they really don't. And so they, they kept threatening. We're going to reveal. We're going to reveal. They don't know that much. They really don't. So they use that as a weapon. And they use the king of cups as a weapon. That would be Charles and saying that he was you know not loving he was manipulative he was not a loving father along with the judgment in reverse saying that that once again was unfair so they're going to put a lot of blame on charles so it's going to fall on charles shoulders 
and that Harry had to be the rescuer here for Markle. So this really just basically is what happened here, but it's going to be that they would not let her shine. And this is sticking out, so I'm going to read it. It's in reverse here. It is the Seven of Cups in reverse, not given any options, not given any options or anything to choose from. Base it back to the fact that Markle feels that she is that independent woman who should have been given more, more cups to, to look at, more options, more choices, not given any choices. Uh, so they removed ability to choose things um, and feeling kind of um, on the outs, I would say, feeling like she was really, this is like she was on the outs, you know, not really in the family. Uh, this is a spread of someone who felt like an outsider coming in. And uh, this, they're going to scream outsider. She was an outsider they never embraced. Uh, under the surface, we have here Ten of Pentacles. And they're going to claim now that they have reached that Ten of Pentacles, or at least that's the angle, and that she had finally reached her Ten of Pentacles by getting away, uh, having that happy family in Montecito. almost kind of looks like it. It's back to Pentacles, 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 more Pentacles. For her, it is all about Pentacles because we have this Pentacle too. So it's really all about Markle appearing high vibe, energetic, wealthy, and viewed as someone who has it all because that's the only way she will live her life. And then we have here the three of wands in reverse in the center of the situation. So basically, basically getting three thumbs down by people and not having creation expansion, having everyone tell her no, 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 being told no too many times. And not being able to expand herself. She could not expand herself. And it just simply wasn't worth it to her. Uh, because she was constantly being judged on every maneuver she made. They didn't like any of her ideas. Hey, the bottom line is, it's a very old institution. You just don't come in with a fresh set of eyes. And think that you can turn everything and tradition around. I'm sorry, a lady from California just isn't going to do that. She just didn't get it. She didn't get it. That is the grandiosity of the narcissist. So, yeah, it's going to be back to the pity play of Markle and why they had to escape. Let's just find out some more. Could be, I think, also it's the children. So it required some patience on her end, and she wasn't patient. And in there we have the clock. It was just time. She just had to put in her time. Uh, there's, a, there's a little clock in the middle, middle there. She had to do what Camilla did. You go in there, you go quietly, just like what uh, uh, Michelle Obama told her. Michelle Obama told her, go in, do your job, be quiet, lay low, let them get to know you. Let them get to know you. Bid your time, like Camilla did. Do a good job. Be quiet. Just, just be there. Be present. Just show up, and things will be fine. You will be embraced. But she could not do that. She was unwilling to do that. Markle doesn't have the patience for anything. Let's get to the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck we have here is a storm warning. So she was a storm warning that just came in. But unfortunately for them, they didn't see it. They weren't completely clear on just how toxic she was or is. And in the center of the situation, it was a brewing here. And the deceit in reverse. They didn't realize just how deceitful she would be. I do read my oracles in upright reverse. Not everybody does, but I do. They were completely unaware that she had the, she lacked the patience. They thought she had the patience. But she put on a good show. And they didn't realize just how much deceit was going to be there with a storm warning. But all that did flip. It all did flip. It did. And I think they just kind of tried to put too much trust in Harry uh, and allowed it. Wait and see. Let's find out some more. How are they feeling now about the situation? How are they feeling now about the situation? How are they feeling now? Well, we got the garden and the gate in reverse. So they're not happy in Montecito. They haven't reached a ten of ten of pentacles to me this would be sort of having your ten of pentacles uh you know if you've reached this whole glorious spot they're not there they never will be there so yeah it's just going to be more pity play and just remember when they're silent they are scheming hope you enjoyed this till next time like and subscribe thank you for watching bye you guys